Sentani Airport in Papua Province, Indonesia. Trigana Air Service pilots Captain Hassanuddin and First Officer Arya Din are on a short layover before their fifth flight of the day. The pilots have already flown four short flights today. This leg will take them back to a remote airport in the Oxibil area. The plane reaches its cruising altitude of 11,500 feet. The flight is so short, the captain is already preparing for the descent into Oxibil. Without the aid of advanced landing systems seen at bigger airports, pilots flying into Oxibil must keep the runway in sight during the approach. Wings Air 1250, confirm descent from 12,000. Report when you are positioned over Oxibel. Five minutes later, the air traffic controller at Oxibil realizes flight 267 hasn't reported in as expected. Hey, this is Oxibel. We've lost contact with flight 267. Have you heard from the pilots? You haven't. We might have a problem here. Word of the missing plane travels fast. Over. As the news spreads, investigators with Indonesia's National Transportation Safety Committee, the KNKT, fear the worst. Flight 267 was only 15 miles from Oxibil Airport when it last checked in with air traffic control. But search efforts come up empty until a pilot flying out of Oxibil Airport spots smoke billowing from nearby Tango Mountain. Yeah. One four zero degrees, 29 minutes, 51.18 seconds east. OK, got it. Thank you. The wreckage is at approximately 8,300 feet on a ridge of Tango Mountain, 10 nautical miles from Oxibil Airport. A search and rescue team takes a KNKT investigator to the crash site. At over 4,000 feet above ground level, there are no roads, runways, or clearings. The only way to get to the crash site is on foot. The team finally reaches the crash site. A field of debris stretches through Tango's thick forest. Jakarta, we'll reach the crash site. No survivors. <laughs> 